Hi guys, it's Jen Wilson. Uh, welcome to the November 1st edition of my blog. I just wanted to say hi, say I hope you all had a great and safe Halloween, and wanted to let you know a little bit about mine. I have another little side thing I want to discuss, but that'll be later. I want to start off by telling you how my day started, because I thought it was really cool. Started off with a dream. Um, I have really detailed dreams. They have. I have sets that have been reused over and over. I have character development. I have plot lines. I mean, it's crazy. These things are like technicolor, dancing, singing. Well, maybe not that much, but whatever. So, this was a really nice way to start off my Halloween because it was my own little horror movie. I uh, started off. Ignore that sound. I can't seem to make this computer stop making that sound. So, anyways, back to the dreams. Um, I come to in the dream. I'm in the car. I'm in my car. I'm driving. My mom, who passed away 12 years ago, my mom's in the car with me. So it's a nice little, little start to my day. You know, the thinning of the veil between worlds. Ha ha. Cool. Anyways, so she's in the car with me, and we're there's music on the radio, and she starts singing along to it. And... I remember, for some reason, that irritated me, which is weird, because, you know, we all used to sing together a lot, but I remember saying, you know, stop, I can't concentrate while I'm driving, and she was like, fine, bitch, whatever, so she stopped singing, and then just, like, a few more feet down the road, I was like, I, I, I don't even know why I said that, I apologized for, for being bitchy, and she said, that's okay, I, gotta, I love you no matter what, even when you're bitchy and grouchy, that's fine, and she gave me a big kiss on the cheek, and we stopped the stoplight, she gave me a big hug, and she was like, you know I love you no matter what, and that I still take with me right now. That just made me feel so good. So then we go through the light, and it gets interesting. We go through the light, and we pull up to a hotel. We pull under the little overhang, and I get out of the car, and I remember seeing something like at, in the parking lot right as we passed by, and I can't remember what it was. All I can think of is it was either a squirrel or a frisbee. I don't know how it could be that I don't know it that's just the only things that come to mind anyway so so I get out of the car and I walk back to look at it because I don't know why it was like freaking me out but I turn around and the car's gone and I walk up and I'm like well where'd the car and my mom go and uh there's some people out there and they say oh no she pulled it around to park it she's going to come back into the hotel so I say okay sure so I go into the hotel and I'm standing right at the desk getting ready to to try to check in and I turn around and outside, sort of farther out in the parking lot, is a red station wagon. And there's a man in a green shirt, and he just stabs a man to death and with, a, with a butcher knife. Butcher knife. There you go. I haven't even had a drink yet. I think I should drink now. Anyways, a butcher knife. And uh, then he starts chasing the man's wife around the, the car. So I run out there. And I, like, push the guy down from behind. And I grab the girl, the, the, the killer gun. I grab the girl we run. And he's like, I'm coming back for you. And I run into the hotel. And I'm screaming, there's a killer out there. So they shut the doors, those little sliding doors. And they, I guess, lock it. And they call for the manager. And the manager comes out. And he says, well, this is a very serious situation. We're going to need to call the police and discuss this. And as he's talking, crazy guy comes from the hallway and runs up and stabs him in the back. And everybody starts screaming and run away. And I'm like, where's my mom? First of all, and this lady stops. She's like, oh, she's upstairs. She already checked in. She's fine. She's in the room. I'm like, cool. She's safe. Bolt. We're out. I run out in the parking lot. And of course, Mr. Crazy Killer Guy decides to chase me through the parking lot. And I'm running and I just stop. And I look and he's coming up behind me. And I just realize I'm not going to be able to, to outrun this guy. So I have to fight him. So I'm ready. And my only thought is I'm facing this guy. I can see him just running at me with this knife in his hand as I think at least mom's safe. I'm ready for this fight, but at least mom is safe. She's cool. And right as I'm ready for this, I wake up. Oh, kind of cool. So I thought, okay, that's a nice way to start the day. And the rest of the day was nice. We just, we ran around a little bit and, and finished our Halloween costumes. Um, my makeup didn't turn out as well as I'd hoped because it took longer than I really would have thought to, to do our makeup because um, I did my makeup and Chris's, but his turned out really well. And I think it's also just trying to do somebody else's face versus trying to do my own. And by the time I got done with him, I was like, you look awesome. And I got halfway through mine and was like, oh Jesus, I don't even want to mess with it anymore. But I was told it looked cool. So I'll try to get pictures of it. 
Uh, yeah, it was nice. We went upstairs. Uh, upstairs? Yeah. Yeah, we went upstairs and saw a band. We went up north and saw a band. And uh, hung out, watched them for a bit, even danced a little bit. Got Chris to dance to some of the fast songs. That's kind of a feat. I thought that was cool. And then, like, as soon as I was just kind of start looking around, going, mm, 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 I don't feel it. Chris looked at me and said, I, I kind of want to go home. Perfect timing. So we came home, put our jammies on, grabbed a beer, watched TV, and I think we were out by two. Oh, wait, I just realized I'm making the camera shake. Sorry. I'm a little descriptive, a little theatrical, so sorry. Anyways, uh, so we did that. We got it today, had a leisurely cup of coffee. I've got some stuff done throughout the house, been productive, and we cooked dinner, and it was really nice, so yeah. And then we watched uh, The Walking Dead. Because I hadn't had a chance to watch last week's episode first. Which brings me to my next point tonight. There's something out there called Wheaton's Law. Wheaton's Law is created by Will Wheaton. I will. And it's a real simple law. It's called Don't Be a Dick. That's all it is. Just don't be a dick. It's really easy. You'd think it'd be really easy. But as we're watching the show, the first commercial, the first changed commercial, altered commercial for Red Bull comes on where they no longer say Red Bull gives you wings. Because apparently somebody sued Red Bull over the saying Red Bull gives you wings. So now Red Bull has to give five, 10 or $15 back to people over the course of a couple years because God forbid somebody would have thought it actually gave them wings. No, they didn't, no. It was like years ago when I worked at Hooters and guys would try to go apply at Hooters because they wanted to be turned down for the job so they could sue. That's a dick move, really. And I, I just, I was just thinking, you know, you just sit there watching it. Watch how these people had to spend money and time to redo a commercial because somebody wanted to be a dick. Seriously? So, important law, dude. From now on, because you're already kind of a dick, don't be a dick from now on. Okay? So, for the rest of you, just don't be a dick, period. I think that's kind of easy. It really is. So, uh, besides, it's November 1st. New beginnings. Let's start the rest of the year fresh and have fun. Of course, it's Saturday night. Uh, set your clocks tomorrow. What is it? Fall back. So set your clocks back. I uh, hope you have a great time tonight. If for all the, the late Halloween parties, be safe. Have fun. Bring a camera in case you black out. you got to fill in some of the gaps. Not like I've done that before. but Actually, that's a story I should tell. Another time, though. But it's a great story. Anyways, so have fun. I'm going to go back out here because Chris and I are going to watch Maleficent now and enjoy the rest of our night, too. So, take care. Have fun. Oh, kitty. I just saw... Is that... Oh, hello, kitties. Ah, see, there's one kitty here. And then there's one kitty here. And they're not even doing anything fun. They're just standing staring at each other. But, yeah, look at the tail. Anyways, sorry, distracted. Sparkly. So, have a good night. It was good to see you. Why the hell did I say that? It was good to see me. Maybe if the camera would stop shaking. Oh, screw it. Have a good night. I'll see you around.